This is Kwame Nkrumah Hall, the Hall of Excellence, and today happens to be the freshest welcoming. Mansivo, he is the president of Kwame Nkrumah Hall. Mansivo, how is everything going? Everything is going on very well. Um, I should say that actually the process and everything you see here has been planned. Yes, we started the planning some days ago. Then myself, being the head of this team, uh, together with some leaders of the team, sat down and planned everything. So we, we just planned that this time around, we are not going to stress the people with long queues and then a lot of things. So the process from morning till now has been smooth. The first thing they do is that the welcoming team members, those who are in the white attire, will direct them uh, straight to the registration decks where they would give out these two pertinent forms, their room selection form and then also their receipts, their bank receipts, which shows that they paid. Uh -huh. They will take these forms and then they will register their details Then they will go and take their keys. Afterwards, and then they will come and then do JCRC registration where the whole executives will take their details. So that is the process, very smooth. And that is what we are doing for today. So how do you feel being in your dream school and also in Kwame Nkrumah Hall? Um, I'm so happy. It's, it's nice. I, I just feel blessed. Yeah, and it's by grace. I feel so excited. Yeah, I feel so excited because it's not like um, no one can get such opportunity. Yeah, so me being UCC and getting a hall like this, I'm very excited. Actually, we were expecting so many crowds, but then it seems like they are all coming one by one, so the stress is down and everything is going on well. Oh, it's, it's a normal feeling seeing our freshers trooping in and out. Like the excitement is, is so marvelous, and I can't, I can't even imagine of. Welfare chairman here, he goes by the name Maxwell. Maxwell, how is everything going? Oh, okay, thank you so much. Um, oh, things are moving on well. I mean, uh, the freshers are coming and we are happy to see them. Well, it's stressful, but actually, work and happiness, we're enjoying it. At least my entertainment boys are providing the music, so at least we are having something to chill out small, so we're okay. I mean, the atmosphere is uh, very, very encouraging. I mean, the atmosphere, I mean, looks like an atmosphere where you can learn, I mean, where you can study. And even the Kwame Nkrumah name also gives me uh, much encouragement. You know, Kwame Nkrumah was someone who, who didn't play with uh, my studies. So even being in the hall tells me that I need to study. It feels amazing. Um, so far, I've been welcomed very beautifully and it's the, all the anxiety and everything, the excitement is this nice, it's beautiful.
if we get to know you are harassing somebody, please, the university will take you on. You don't know. <laughs> there are a lot of things that we do in the hall. When you get a student handbook, I don't know the color it will be this time, but I believe it won't change much from what I have. Please read it. It's your student Bible. Read it and follow it carefully. Follow it carefully. If you have any issue, any problem, the hall manager is there, the senior hall teacher's office is there, the hall master's office is there. But there is a route you have to follow. Let's do it, follow it, and then we will live peacefully in this hall. Thank you very much. Club and Chroma Hall must always shine regardless. Kwame Nkrumah Hall must always shine, regardless. Kwame yeah, Nkrumah Hall, we must lead, by example. Long live Ghana, long live the University of Cape Coast, long live Kwame Nkrumah Hall, and long live the SRC. He wrote the Hall Anthem when he was in level 100. Kwame Nkrumah Hall, JCRC, Citation of Appreciation. This is presented to Dr. Edwin Kuntuk Langsen composer of the whole Latin. I always say, Kwame Nkrumah Hall is a hall that has not looked at other halls. The JCRC will get time with you and then orient you once again on the various departments of the JCRC and then make you aware of the structures that run the JCRC. Let me say that you are welcome to the Hall of Excellence and I wish you a fruitful semester. Thank you. The program has been very successful. It's an orientation program for our freshmen and fresh women. And so I think it has been successful. We have been able to educate them on what they need to know to make their stay on campus successful and very fruitful. We are so happy that um, finally we have our freshmen coming into the hall. And um, they, you can see from their faces looking very naive, coming into a new environment. There is that kind of apprehension. But uh, we know with time, is going to go well with them and we are so impressed about the turnout i think it's one of the highest turnouts so far in the uh, hall meetings show others how it is done in public hall we don't compete with other halls we must accord respect to each other. Let me see that you're welcome to the Hall of Excellence and I wish you a fruitful semester. Thank you. We lead by example. This is a privilege we have got to change the narrative. <laughs> The hall managers for Kwame Nkuma Hall. The program has been very successful. We are so impressed about the turnout. Orientation is a way of welcoming the fresh students. Very successful. It was the plan of management in JCRC. This is an annual event that you guys organize every year. What keeps on motivating you to do this? Oh yes, you see, the university we see it to be a holistic one. So you cannot come and then learn and learn and learn and learn. So as you are saying, each and every year, we also look at developing our holes holistically. 
where we also pay attention to their social life being, their academics, and even their spiritual life being. So you, you can see fellowships, uh, council, uh, touching on their spiritualities, and then we have the libraries, where everything, and then this part is a fitness or the sports where we also take part of their physical fitness and other things. So it is that aim of holistic development in Kwame Nkrumah Hall. Okay, and we know we've stayed back in the house, so when they come to school, they need to refresh themselves. That's what's keeping us to do the day in and day out. Exercising is good for their body, and aside exercising, all social gatherings are good. It helps you to socialize, and socialization is also good. You see, nowadays, if you don't know anybody, then it means you are nobody, so it's very good to engage in this activity. I really enjoy this exercise. You see, you believe that the health problem for people is our major concern. Therefore, this activity is organized just to reduce fatigue. That's why I'm having this exercise. I'm really happy. Wow. So what motivated you to join this exercise? So I wanted to release our amount of stress. I like, you know, with KNH, right? Everything we do, we do it with diligence and excellency. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> What's up? Happy birthday! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, tell us about today. Oh yes, um, as we planned, today happens to be the aerobics. Okay, it's just to exercise, okay? And we know we've stayed back in the house, so when they come to school, they need to refresh themselves. This person, they are really positive. This exercise is massive. This massive. I'm fine. So, what motivated you to join this exercise? So I wanted to release some amount of stress, and socialization is also good. You see, nowadays. Oh, so fast, so good. Everything is okay. And today, the way I'm boosted is times two, the last time. So, <coughs> KNH is in for us. And we are also there for them. Flash light, flash light. Oh, Charlie. Flash light, flash light, flash light, flash light. Wherever you enter new, if you are not welcome, then you are not accepted in that place. Today, I want to welcome you in a grand style. I want to hereby launch the Aquaba Week. I'm the vice president of the hall and today we are launching our Aquaba Week celebration for the freshest. It's going to be a one week program and we have various educative and interactive programs. This is meant for the, the freshest to enjoy the hall and let them know that they are in the hall of excellence and really have excellent things for them. <laughs> okay, I, I can see you are sweating. I mean, tell us something. Uh, at first, when we started, I'm wild, I'm wild, I'm wild right now. I'm shocked, like Kwame Kuma Hall, level 100, they are positive this year. We, 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 I don't know what to say, we are enjoying, we are enjoying. The UCC, the espresso and everything. So when you come for the first week, you have to what, release all the stress. So that when lectures start, you can what, you can adapt with it. My name is Samuel Ayosu Ando. We are having so much fun. Yes, we are having because uh, being in KNH is the special place everyone has to be. Because the welcome, the, the kind of welcome we are getting today, hey, is very high. The way, the way I'm boosted, hey, 
I, I can't even express how I'm feeling right now. If I got locked away, first life, first life, first life, first life. Wherever you enter you, if you're not welcome, then you're not accepted in that place. Today, we want to welcome you in a grand style. If I couldn't be strong, tell me honestly. First as a quarter with you, you say, you'll be saved. Com. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am Steven Appa. We just want to make them feel free and detain them. My name is Nana Nyako Penedu. I'm the vice president of the hall. And today we are launching our Kwaba Week celebration. Uh, being in KNH is the special place everyone has to be. Because the welcome, the, the kind of welcome we are getting today. It's very high. The way I do it, who's that? and then worship God. This is because God has brought the University of Cape Coast to a very high level Amen. as well as that of the hall, Kwame Nkrumah Hall.
morning our women are in sport yes they are really they are really here to perform the activities yes so what are some activities that's going to be happening right here okay so we start with the volleyball we have our sack race the dancing chairs dancing competition all the indoor games you can think of we are doing the blue or everything we are doing them today yes today happens to be the women in sports so this uh, is organized under the auspices of the vice president she heads the women in the hall so we call her the president of the women uh, so under her auspices she's organizing the sporting activities for the women to energize them and then to entertain them yeah so that is what is going on here today we plan on keeping our women in shape for them to begin the semester very well um so any expectations um it's going to be fun express something exciting it's going to be a great day for the women in Kwame Koma Hall. what game are you partaking in okay i'll be partaking in ludu <laughs> nothing really <laughs> you are here to support yes Yes, we are here to support. Yeah, we are participating in the game and the winner is going on a free lunch. So this team is winning. Okay, as you can see, it's all about women in sports. We want to engage our women in sporting activities so that they can also be active in the hall. It's not only about learning, at least this one too is part. So this Saturday morning, that's what we decided to do. To engage them in all sporting activities. That is, we have the volleyball, the sack race, Ludo, Orari and many more. Okay, so um, Vice President, I've seen you here at the Imam Basic School. What is your mission? Okay, so today we are here to have some interactive sections with our adolescents. So we have from class 5 to GHS theory, and the main purpose is to engage them and provide them with some knowledge about their health and also career plans as well. But we didn't come here just to interact with them. We came with certain items um, we received from Let It Shine Foundation, the JCRC of our hall, the SRC and JCRC of other halls. Yes, that's why we are here. So we are here to engage them, teach them, give them knowledge and also donate these items to them as well. We are expecting that upon all this, after all this work and experience, the students will actually learn from us and then we will be able to reduce teenage pregnancy. actually appreciate it because uh, coming here serves as a lesson for the children that you have something to aspire to so you are always welcome to the school we donated exercise books sanitizers sanitary pads and others one speak to them on adolescent health so we spoke to them on uh, changes which happen in their body uh, in the ladies and then in the guys and also we did a little donation to them they got some sanitary pads some tiros some nose masks and sanitizers exercise books yes so it's more of championing adolescent health and then also a little donation from Kwame Kroma Hall. On behalf of Kwame Kroma Hall JCRC and then the women's decks of Kwame Kroma Hall JCRC, would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Almighty God for making this event a resounding success. <laughs> Kuma Hall JCLC today finds themselves at the Imam Basis School. We are here to engage them, teach them, give them knowledge and also donate these items to them as well. It's more of championing adolescent health and then also a little donation from Kwame Kuma Hall, championed or hosted by the Women's Wing. Coming here serves as a lesson for the children that 
you have something to aspire to. On behalf of Kwame Nkrumah Hall JCRC and then the Women's Dex of Kwame Nkrumah Hall JCRC, would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Almighty God. We'd also like to thank Let It Shine Foundation, the SRC UCC. You are at the end of the contest. Here are the scores. B e block had 34 points. C e block had 13 points. E block had 21 points. F block had 16 points. And J block had 9 points. My JCRC executives present here, senior officers from Sister Halls, senior officers of the excellent uh, Army Cadet. I must say that I'm so impressed with the short time that you took to train the recruits. And I must also say that the recruits are very, very smart. And within this short time, they've been able to display all the drills that you, you taught them. Congratulations. Cadet Sapa, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the constitution of Kwame Krumah Hall and the excellent Abi Kadet that I bear true faith and allegiance to the Hall of Excellence and the Hall Cadet and that I will obey the orders of the constitution of the Hall the recruits are very, very smart. And within this short time, they've been able to display all the drills that you taught them. Please keep on doing well. And also, those who are not in it, kindly join. In fact, today has been a great day for the freshers who actually joined the cadets. The men has really, really, really shown a very massive um, display today. Uh, about today's parade, it's for only the freshers. That's the level 100s. But I realized I saw two contingents. That's those in red and those in camo. From Nkumo Excellence Army Cadet, we have a murder unit. That's 48 engineer regiment. We 
have to do the checks and balances so that we have a smooth governance running. So as a speaker, I will ensure that we are being equipped with the movement of Parliament to discharge our duties as such. To say again, I will say I look forward to all the floor reps who were nominated or appointed by the law members to be members of Parliament. And you are members of Parliament because you represent your constituency. And without you, we wouldn't show issues happening in your constituency. So I encourage all followers to abide by the parliamentary procedures, get us the problem happening on their various constituency. That will make us proactive because we are a body where we can see the petitions, problems. I would like to do the honorable thing by doubling the letter of consent from Honorable Gibson Asari for his nomination in accordance with Order 7 of the Standing Orders of this House. Honorable Gibson Asari, affectionately called or informed, a man of few words, action oriented. Yeah. He was born in the movie Magazine on the 11th of December 2001. In accordance with Order 7 of the Standing Orders of this House. As a speaker, I will ensure that we are being okay with the movement of Parliament to discharge our duties as such. Witness from our own members, the Muslim Hopkins, to add up who am I to say I would not like to hear a message from our Master Muhammad, if I do that, I will be the greatest selfish being I accept. And believe me, it will be a success if all of us don't play our role. And then the role is. We should all pay attention to whatever will go on here. At the beat! Extend the gratitude for all of you for raising this occasion. Um, this occasion could have been a success without you. So we say thank you very much for raising the occasion. Um, we also thank the whole the agency and the administration for being the main sponsors for this August occasion. We have that blessed them. Um, and to our speaker said, in fact, it was the short notice we did give to him, but we adhere to our own and make it on time. We have that blessing. Um, looking at each and everybody seated here, I have a lot of doubt in my mind that all of us have the potential of becoming leaders. But how do we position ourselves to take up these leadership positions? It is with this that I and my police is getting dotted twice to choose this, um, this topic for this program. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu wa nasta'iyuhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa nasta'adhiyuhu wa na'udhu billahi ta'ala min shuroori anfusina wa sayyahati a'malina من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له جل أن الشبيه Respect the scholars, elders, brothers, and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Respect the ones in being 
I admonish you and my humble self to keep your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh you people, keep your duty to Allah. Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya children of Adam, be dutiful to Allah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Alladhi khalaqakum min nafsa zawjaha. And he created from that soul that is our father Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. I have no idle doubt in my mind that all of us have the potential. Alhamdulillah, I come humbly and totally accept the chairman to be the chairman of this great location. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Indeed, Allah has exalted, Allah has blessed the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrated to us Ibrahim and Ismail, or if you want, Ishaq. Every leader must be God conscious. We are really, really cleaning our floor. Like, as you can see, we are here to my yard. I'm sorry, I checked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We are here to my yard. We are here to my yard. We are here to my yard. You've been doing yourself. Okay, we clean our room, our balcony. We are here to scrub the veranda and then the washroom. We want to get, we want to win the best floor this year. Okay, so and what's the price for you guys? They haven't told us. They said it's a price. So we are working towards it. I'm, I'm impressed. Yes, from the yeah from the beginning they were reluctant, but they are working now. Very active. They are really really participating, including the executive. You can see the president as well. He is really really doing very well, and I think everybody is cooperating. Yes, today happens to be our very first clean up inside. Yes, so we are cleaning our hall, um, and then. I can assure you that our people are really working. They are really working from B block, A block, to G block, F block. Everybody, everybody is involved. And then uh, I'm just happy the way they are getting themselves involved. It's been so massive. I like the way the students are, you know, delegate themselves to work so hard like that. It is, it is unbelievable. I didn't expect something like that. It is beyond my expectations. I'm so proud of my own idea now. And when I was here, keep you in it for our health sake. Even if say. Uh, I'm going to clean up. You need to get a mirror in the washroom. So most of the they don't have. So the cleanest floor will have a mirror in the washroom. And that we said that we are the hall of excellence. We set a page for others to follow. And the part of Kumar is we have organized the most neatest floor on campus. We are not going to relent on that. We, the current executive, 2022, 2022, you're not going to relent on that. We are going to make sure that the hall is clean. As the good book says that cleanliness is next to godliness, we are all coming around to give our best to, to clean our environment, like various rooms, uh, the Osajibun Square, and then even the uh, JCR and even the walkway. So I think this year's own is, is somehow different because um, we've included everyone in the hall. We've included everyone now. So I think it's different. And new administration, new law, new administration, new things. Yes, that is what I can say. Yes, today happens to be our very first clean up inside. Yes. The participation is really, really massive. I like the way the students are, you know, delegate yourself to work so hard like that. So that's why we started doing since 5 a.m. And I'm really impressed by the involvement of the people. As the good book says that cleanliness is next to godliness, we are all coming around to give our best. And the manda, 
This is studio, my way, BBR. You see, sound BBR on point. The right one will say the kind of participation I'm getting today is flabber bastard. Mr. Steven Alkwa, um, tell us the motive for today. Yes, so today we are just here to visit our affiliates who find themselves in the diaspora. Uh, we are not just executives for those in the hall, but for our affiliates who are also in the diaspora. So from time to time we make um, time out of our busy schedules and then we come see them and interact with them. Sometimes they have questions they would want to ask us. We, we give them answers and then we also take their suggestions. So today we are visiting, taking questions, giving them answers and also taking suggestions. Albert, um, let us know your expectation for this visitation. I'm um, okay. I'm uh, expecting to meet more of our affiliates today, interact with them, find out their needs and then send some information to them. I would have prepared some fufu and a poche crackra. Like, oh yes. I, I asked them if they needed water. They said no. Like, I'm so glad they came. You know, there's a lot of pressure on campus. And for them to make time out of their busy schedules to come and visit us. Oh, seriously. There is quite a result today. My vice P is there. I didn't go because I have come to this assignment. And for the president having a lot of things to do in. And today, as a weekend, oh seriously, they've done well. Like, may God richly bless them and like, big ups first though, you feel it and big ups, big ups, yeah. Okay, so we are here to have an interaction with our affiliate in the diaspora. Um, it's been a while since they left us, I mean, from the hall. So today, we are just to meet them, have some nice interaction with them. Then we ask them the challenges they are going through. If they have anything that they want us to address, then if there is anything going on in the administration that they want us to i mean look at then we take that up as well so that's the main purpose of this visitation yes it's a good uh, move as in checking up on the people who are living in the diaspora especially to find out how they are holding up security wise academic social life and what have you a lot of people are going through a lot of things who need some of this uh, visitation who will just need to see people come to them to talk to them and so share in their worries and whatever challenges they are going through. For all you know, they may have solutions to their problem, but then because the individual is not brave enough and is not confident enough to move towards them and then tell them about it, it is also good as leaders that we visit them or we come down to them and then listen to them and find solutions to some of the challenges they may be going through. Oh, the participation has been so good. Because we've been to so many hostels. Though we can't visit all the hostels, we are doing our best. And those people that we're meeting too, they are very positive and they are very, very happy. They are very, very grateful to what we are doing for them as executives. We visiting them has been all the best that they've ever received in their life. Because leaving the hall, they were not thinking that executives will come to them and visit. Most of the hosts are not doing this. Why come and come out alone? Because we have our people at heart and that's what we can do for our people. Oh, it's cool. It's quite cool because uh, when, when we go to the hostel, we go to meet the affiliate and they welcome us very well. Um, those who we couldn't come, we we'll say next time we'll come. We'll do our, we'll do our best to come and also have an interaction with you guys. So please pardon us. Oh, um, so far so good. I think what has been good, and then um, thanks to all the executives who have been able to avail themselves for this, because. Um, it's not been easy moving from hostel to hostel and then visiting our affiliates like yeah it's not been easy but so far i think so good we are doing well those we didn't meet oh they should wait for us next semester because because of the time and stuff so we can't meet all of them at this semester so next semester when we meet we'll see them too um what i can say is that we are like we'll go back to the world and see if we can get time we'll hopefully come back because most of them we couldn't go to them so we are hoping they should watch us will be coming i can say that it's quite okay and just that it's quite difficult to locate those knh members but since it is a duty we have to do our possible best so that we can get them so we are on it we are expecting that at least you will be able to meet the maximum knh athlete then we are good to go. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, the exercise has been successful. We were able to meet most of our affiliates and then we communicated with them. Uh, those that we were not able to meet to, we also do our best to also uh, reach out to them when the uh, time comes for us to come and then we visit again.
So today we are just here to visit our feet who find themselves in the diaspora. So far they are happy. We are targeting the homesteads this time around. The aim for this exercise was to reconnect and interact with our athletes. I'm so glad they came. You know, there's a lot of pressure on campus and for them to make time out of their busy schedules to come and visit us. Oh, seriously. And so we trust you to know that nothing brings a broad smile on the faces of students except when it's something relating to feeding. Anything food you get, our colleagues in the University of Cape Coast rally behind it. Let me first register how happy I am to stand in front of you to relaunch the Osage Food Relief Fund. But when you bring on board something which will directly affect the students, the students will never forget of you. It's a very good initiative. Anything that is to support humanity is very good. So if every hall is going to emulate from this initiative, it's going to help them a long way. So this initiative, I would say, has come to stay. Not easy, but by the grace of God, everything has been successful. So it's just a supplement, just to support them during the examination period. Uh, God richly blessed them.